some draft, got some interesting draft stories, and a lot of prizes to give away. So make sure you're holding on to your raffle tickets. Nine o'clock. These are some of the prizes. Julian Edelman jersey, signed George Kittle ball, Alshon Jeffrey signed helmet, tons of other NFL gear. So there's going to be lots of fun tonight. We'll open up to Q&A in a little bit as well. Uh, but while you get the food, while we get ready for the draft, I was going around the room and the big topic, of course, who is going to be the first overall pick in the draft? Is it going to be Kyler Murray? Is it going to be one of the defensive players? That's the big question. How many people think it's going to be Kyler Murray first overall tonight? Yeah. One, two? <laughs> well, that's, you guys are in the minority, man. So guys, let's, Dave Naylor and Dave Woods, let's, let's talk this out a little bit. You got Kyler Murray, Arizona Cardinals, they traded up last year to get Josh Rosen. I can't remember a time where a team took a first round quarterback in back to back years. I can't either, but I think the dynamic that makes this possible and perhaps probable is, is the change in coach. The, yeah. the Cliff Kingsbury goes there, you know, a guy who re tried to recruit Kyler Murray when he was in high school in Allen, Texas, which is a suburb of Dallas where he was 43 and 0. Uh, he has the background at Texas A&M and Texas Tech. I think from the moment they hired Cliff Kingsbury as their head coach, Kyler Murray was the guy who fit their system. Right. So much of so much of success in football is about marrying the system to the player. I mean, great players, if you ask them to do something that is not their specialty, can look very bad. Yes. And when you think of the kind of offense that Cliff Kingsbury wants to run in Arizona. Kyler kind of Murray seems like he's made for it, right? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the fit makes all the sense in the world, and it's not necessarily as difficult a decision as it would look on the surface because they didn't spend that much on Josh Rosen. They spent the first round pick, they traded, I think, a third and a fifth to move up and get it. That's, right. not, a, that's not a franchise altering decision. Like, you, you can move on from that after a year, even if you're going to look at trading Rosen for pennies on the dollar, like, a, I don't know, a third round pick or something like that. But it, it, it's kind of that we don't know for sure that it's going to be Kyler Murray, which makes me think there's still a chance. You know, they're, they're slow playing it. They're going right. to try to get this down to the end and get that, you know, big trade offer that never really comes in when the, the team goes on the clock at, at first overall. Imagine it's as if a team is going to call you up at that point and, and offer, a, you know, their sweetheart package. That, that would be done by now, I think. But maybe they're a little slow on Murray. I, I don't know, but I, obviously the chalk is that Murray goes number one. Well, there's so 